Welcome to this quick series on Application Lifecycle Management, also known as ALM, via the new Microsoft Team Foundation service. My name is Søren Clemensen, and I've been in the NAV world for the last 17 years, working mainly in NAV development. I started way back on the old DOS-based Navision version 3.51, if anybody remembers back that far. Today I'm working exclusively on the latest Dynamics NAV 2013 as part of Industry Build Software's R&D team. In today's video, we're going to step through the process of creating a Team Foundation Service account, creating a project on this account, and connecting it to Visual Studio. To create a Team Foundation Service account, you need to have a Microsoft account and you need, need to have a computer with an internet connection. Now let's go to our computer and open Internet Explorer and go to tfs.visualstudio.com This brings us to the sign-up page for TFS uh, and as you can see the first five users are free and there's currently a special pricing per additional user of $10 per month. But let's get started. We fill in our name and the country and then we select the URL for the service. In this case I have selected to use NAV, ALM, Reindeers as the URL. Now once we have filled that in, we can download and install different versions of Visual Studio. Now most of you will have access to the ultimate version via your MSDN subscriptions, but I'm choosing here to uh, download the Express version uh, to demonstrate that this works just fine with the Express version. We are now asked to create a team project and we'll fill that in with uh, NAV as the project name and I'm not going to fill in a description here and then we're going to go it down to the project template which we're going to leave default at the Scrum 2013. Then we click create project and the project creation will start. While the project is getting created we can install Visual Studio you can see the pop-up down in the bottom here uh, that it's ready to install. If you already have Visual Studio installed, you can of course skip that. In this case, I'll click Run and start the installation. Now, the, while the installation here is running, I will uh, fast forward the, uh, the video until the installation has completed, as it takes a few minutes. As you can see, we now need to restart our computer after the installation of Visual Studio. And in the background, we can also see that the um, team project has been created. And we're ready to go. So let's restart. So we're back after our restart. And we will start with starting Visual Studio. I've already added it here to the start bar. Visual Studio takes a few seconds to start it up here the first time. And here we have Visual Studio running. We now can connect to our Team Foundation server, or Team Foundation service as it is in this case, by clicking Team, and then connect to Team Foundation server. This pops up the uh, Team Explorer that we can see out here on the right. And in the Team Explorer, we can now click Select Teams, and we'll get the Connect to Team Foundation Server pop-ups here. And we'll just have to click Servers, and the server we want to connect to is already here. Uh, 
part of the installation, so we just have to click it, select it, and it will pop up. And the team project we created when we did the installation in AV is one of the ones here. We can create multiple projects in the same team. And we just have to close it, and voila, we are connected. So now we need to start configuring our workspace. Now, what does that mean? TFS will hold and manage all versions of any given file in source control. However, we will only be working on one version of any given file. So we need to have that one version locally on this computer so we can modify it. This is what the local workspace is used for. Now, this sounds a little complicated, but it's really not. I will leave it uh, the standard here, so in the NAV uh, project, I'm mapping it to the standard location, clicking on the map and get, which will then map the project to that location and get any files that are currently in that location. Now this completes our goals for this video. We created a Team Foundation service account, we created a Team project, and we connected Visual Studio after installing it to our Team Foundation service. In the next videos I will show how to set up different branches in TFS, check in the standard objects before starting to modify them, modify the objects, and work with the objects in an easy and fast way. We'll also show how you can manage roll-up uh, hotfixes from uh, Microsoft and much more. If you have any questions feel free to drop me an email and thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me next time when we continue exploring Team Foundation services with NAV.